Hey folks, Agent CEO here, and we got ourselves another little surprise from AVCANS. Their PTZ joystick that I've been using quite a bit, um, which only allowed you to actually add everything through the interface, has received an update similar to their other camera that pretty much I've been talking about, their economy line, the E. 20. They actually have done an update, so now this has a web interface, so it makes it a lot easier to actually navigate and do some other stuff with this joystick. So um, first off, let's go ahead and just look at the joystick, and we'll just go over the settings and the firmware, and we'll walk through doing the firmware. Granted, this already has it, but I want to walk you through how to do it and show you the difference of how to add cameras to this through the web interface. Alrighty, so we're here. Let's go through the menu real quick and hopefully y'all can see everything fine. Let's go to our version here. And again, this is version, uh, the app is version 1.97 D plus, and the MCU is 1.8. So again, not anything noticeably different here. It's just that now you can actually do something directly through a web interface. So first off, let's find what the IP address is. All right, so our IP address is going to be 130. That's what we're going to use to. And typically when I have this set up, I'm going to have this on a static IP, but we got this right here. So that's 130. Let's go over to the computer now and let's actually look at the interface. And we're going to add it to, I got, I got about three cameras set up. So we'll actually hook those up and let's see how we can control them. Alrighty, we're here on the desktop. Let's go ahead and open up your browser of choice. Mine just happens to be Chrome for today. And let's bring this over so y'all can see. So we're going to go to the IP address 192.168.0.130. And we'll log into it. And I like that they put the default password in there, admin, admin. You can change that, but let's just log in, admin, admin. And there we go. We're there. And as you can see, my joystick is already here, but I have the PTZ Optics one on right now, right here beside me. Um, actually, I moved my cable upstairs, so that's the only camera I can connect to. But let's go ahead and search. And there's that camera. Actually, no, that is not that camera. That is actually the BZB gear, the one that's behind me. So we can actually use that as well. So we can add to the list. I want to make that camera number, my setup, that's actually camera number three. Boom. Now I'm wondering why the PTZ Optics is not search. Let's search for on VIF cameras. And this brings back a whole lot more. So this is actually the PTZ optics. Cause if I go here, one on two, that one, six, eight, that zero, that 91. See, that's that one. I wonder why it's not showing that protocol, even though I know that's the right protocol. Let's look at the network real quick. And we are looking for I'm looking for the ports. Oh, it's right down the control um, and ports. So we have it right there. So let's see, this is one that we're probably gonna have to ma add manually. I don't know why that doesn't search like that. Let's search one more time. All right, it's not there. So let's add one manually. And we're gonna make that camera number two. The IP address is port one and the, I mean, the IP address is 91 and the IP port based on this same page right here is 1259. So let's go ahead and submit that. And now we have those in our settings. So really cool. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to do a super source with every camera that I have linked in here so we can actually do all of this. All right. So we have all of these set up now. And we have the PTZ optics right here. We got the BZB gear back there and we have the joystick. So now that we have everything set in here. So like if we come back out here on our menu and we do a inquiry, see there's camera number one. There's camera number two, which is 91. 
and then camera number three, which is 93, which is the other one that I have here on my desk, but you won't be able to see it. And that's the other thing. I never, this one wasn't controlled either. So let's actually add that one real quick. I'll add that as number four. I already know the IP. Zero, and that is 92. So if we call it, there we go. So now we can control this camera as well too. So if I zoom out so you can see the other camera, this is the other AV cans that I have here. So if we've done everything right, we've already linked to this one. That's the one that's right here above that you're seeing. So if we go to camera number one, which is here, excuse me, that's, no, camera number one is this one. So as you can see, there we go. Let's make that one look straight up. And now let's go to camera number two. And that is the PTZ Optics one. So you got me right there. Now the other thing, the issue with this one is because it's auto tracking. So it won't let me move it that much unless I turn auto tracking off. So you see I'm moving it, but it's trying to auto track back to me. So if I had auto tracking off, this would be able to work. And again, I like this update because it allows me to now have a little bit more control when I'm setting up these cameras. Um, now, as long as the joystick is set to DHCP, this, I can just do this remotely, especially if for most of the stuff I set this up, I'm not in the locations. And if there's an issue, now that there's a web interface for these cameras, I can go directly to them and troubleshoot them. So again, another good update. All right, so again, that's about it. Now, I'll come back if I can find this other way. There, this is a download. I am not sure how, if you have one of the older ones, how to add that pack to that. I'll research that and I'll come up with a follow-up video for that. But pretty much any of the joysticks moving forward should have that new version on it. So again, AVCans, thank you. Also, make sure you have the bell notifications turned on. That way you won't miss out when I post another video if I found out how to um, update the firmware on this if you have an older one. I do have a couple of other ones I can test this out. They're not here, they're on site, but I will make sure I follow back up with y'all so that if you have an older one, we can get you updated to the latest version. So link is down below if you're interested in getting one of these and that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later.